Good morning. On this wonderful sunset we have on Minecraft, I do apologize for the uh, the audio quality. Filmed everything used it using a new headset, and uh, it doesn't sound good. So I have to actually redub the whole thing. I like the video, so I'm going to keep the video, and uh, I'll do my best to explain what's going on and acting like it's actually happened. We have something new over here. Uh, we'll show that later. Um, I just wanted to show you the sunset and the sun and the moon set. Sunrise, moon set. Um, I have started gathering materials for my globe, a lot of glass. I'm not going to do it all on camera because it's a little mundane. Um, but I figured I don't need sand generators because we have this huge desert over here. And we're going to make use of the sand. Ooh, my first pumpkin. We're going to have uh, pumpkin harvesters shortly. Melon harvesters once I find some melon seeds. But not quite yet. So our globe's going to be there. Um, I'm going to use portal systems to get from up top to down below. Um, maybe two portals. So in the nether you go from one portal to another so to get up to the globe you go into a portal down here into the secondary portal which takes you up to the net uh, up to the globe and then one in the globe that will take you to the nether and vice versa so there won't be any ladders there won't be any uh, water maybe a pool of water down here to uh, drop into this is all a creeper I got creeped he, he blew me up a few times while working on uh, on uh, plans so over here, I have a little setup, a little quarry to mine my sand. I liked. Um, I've been. Oh, so what we're doing now is breaking up, throwing throwing in a torch, sand drops on it, and breaks apart automatically. So I don't have to waste shovels digging. If it blocks up like that, you just break the one above it and it all falls down onto the torch. And I come over here to my furnaces, oh, nothing in there, put in my sand, take out my glass, do, do, and then store it in the chest. I also found some uh, brick and um, I made this nice little uh, barbecue style area. Uh, crafting benches. I needed crafting benches for the clay. Um, clay is really interesting. When I found it, uh, you have to put it in the furnace, smelt it, it turns into brick, and then four bricks form brick blocks. Brick blocks. Brick, 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 brick. Glass. Um, I've been watching Feed the Beast um, with B00 and Generic B. I really like the quarry sets up setups on it. Um, they're really cool, but um, there's still a lot to explore in vanilla. So I'm going to stick in vanilla a little bit longer and uh, see where I go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do my best to show what this globe is going to look like. I chose to go with the 45. Um, the 45 block circle versus the 35. Um, I do want set different layers. The 45 is a huge layer for a, a one layer. However, um, the rest of the globe is, is going to be quite small in comparison. So here we are in my test world. It is uh, dark. Anyways, um, Anyways, the sun's setting, the moon's rising here. And uh, so I played, placed down blocks for the two circle designs. Over here is the 35, which seems quite large. It does seem quite large, but I have a feeling above and below it is, is going to be too small of an area. So the, if the larger area is too large, it's okay. This is the 45, which seems huge. 
and I'm liking it. I, I think it is going to be neat. Um, bigger is better. Going bigger, going or go home. Going big or go home. Um, it does seem quite large, but again, the sections above it or below it's going to get smaller very quickly. Um, the outer rim is going to be glass, uh, but the glass is just going to be for uh, viewports. Um, I'm not going to make the whole thing in glass. I'm thinking sandstone or gray wool. Skeleton. Skelly! Right, let's get an overhead view and I'll show it to you from above. And we can see the 45 on the left, the 35 on the right. It is quite a bit larger. Um, but uh, I think it's going to be necessary to get bigger. I like the 45. I um, might have to do something with the uh, the center points. I think they're too wide. They look too squarish. But uh, you can see we're about four blocks times three bigger in each section. So it's a lot of extra space. There is a really cool... Um, storage design I want to use that uh, is circular it works really well um, I use it in my first world and I'm going to use it in this world too so that's the idea um, let's go back I'm going to show you another way of what I have in, in mind and I have another pumpkin already and some carrots <laughs> Can you plant, uh, eat carrots raw? Apparently you can. Excellent. This is going to be a larger garden. Um, piston driven, just not yet. And uh, so we're going to get ready to do this globe thing. Alright, so we're going to test out my drawing skills. Um, so we're going to have two rings of, we're going to start with two rings of glass. One this way, and 3D is kind of, kind of hard for me, but uh, another one kind of, we'll just ignore that one. Another one sort of this way. So that's going to be kind of, no, not really the size of it, but kind of the looks of it. Then we're going to have different floors, different sections. Um, a lower section for storage and a higher section I would like to put a um, so here's our storage layer below the storage layer I like to put a little port porthole layer and that portal is going to be what takes us from from the globe to the nether from the nether to the globe and then a second portal will be on land um, here I am like a goof trying to make it purple and I can't And the other thing I want to do is create another layer up above for mobs. So mob spawner, since I'm going to be spending a lot of time there, the mobs will fall 24 blocks below, beyond 24 blocks, and uh, hopefully not despawned so I can collect all of their loot. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it XP yet. I'm just wanting uh, gunpowder mainly. And when I return, I get rain. So that's probably a good place to end it for now. Um, I'm going to get all my supplies ready, all my sand smelted. And uh, once I have my glass ready and stored, we will build the globe, or at least the outer frame of it. Talk to you later.